Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire, playing as the Silent on Ascension 3, obviously a heart run, this is Act 4. In Act 3 we had picked up a little bit more block, a little bit more draw, basically more survivability, basically the things that the deck was lacking. We got two fancy footworks putting you in a trance, um, got the ink bottle and pen nib. Uh, interestingly enough, with the pen nib, our shivs are our hardest hitters, thanks to wrist blade and accuracy. So let's get started. We have one last upgrade, and none of these are particularly important. Uh, the blocks, we're talking three points per... This is three points per... I think the added poison stack might be the best option here or we could just go with one of the block cards for you know block value alright so nunchaku I don't think would be particularly useful uh, burst plus the fact that it's plus is interesting we could use it to Cloak and Dagger, Blade Dance, Piercing Whale. That's actually not too bad. We also have the the Tutor for Skills, Secret Technique. Um, I think Dark Shackles is also compelling. In fact, if we took the Dark Shackles, we could also afford a Block Potion. For that reason, I think that's the play. I think Burst Plus had some interesting combos, but nothing particularly compelling. Alright, on to Spear and Shield. Um, considering they both start with... Artifact. Well, this is actually a fairly good hand. Eight. Losing eight strength would neutralize him altogether. If we're facing him. And would make this go down to 13. Um, let me refresh my memory here. 50% more damage. So if we turn around, this would say nine per... So still neutralized. This would get cut in half. Alright, so Oracalcum could probably do our blocking for us if we ended up with Piercing Whale. So we could weak, weak, and then Piercing Whale to make it stick. Face him and be taking almost no damage. Now the downside to that over Piercing Whale and then weak, weak is that the weak, weak would carry over into next turn. Piercing Whale will not. And that also plays with Heal Hook, however important that is or is not. Alright, so let's do that and that. And now we can Piercing Whale. And let's see if things ended up as we expected. Yeah, or Calcum is in fact a perfect block. So we could actually use Backstab with Pen Nib here and just kind of get started on finishing him off altogether. Uh, setup is good. Blade Dance. Lethal! Very nice. So we don't actually have to block at all, but we could. Um, I think I will play one block, because it does Ink Bottle, and that gives us... Look at that, we get to weaken him anyways. Fantastic! What a great first turn that was! <laughs> this deck is pretty awesome. Yep, and the heel hook, it actually did end up mattering. Look at that. That's one attack for the... Um, we can... Say... Two... Three attacks. That will buff this if we score, and we did. So, 24... Block, block, yep. 
Uh, we'll do this first because it's card draw. Maybe we get better choices. I don't think so, though. Um, actually, if we poison stab instead of deadly poison, we can build up kunai one more time, and we can do it in this order so that pen nib hits one of our hardest hitters here. And we do have full block already. Thankfully, the ink well didn't or ink bottle didn't totally screw us over. Don't even need the shackles. Don't need any of this. But what we can do is play them just to get the ink bottle set up for the heart. Yeah, because he's dead before he can touch us again, so we have a little bit of freedom here to play some cards. Yeah, we can say 7, 8, and 9. Well, let's just finish him off. There we go. Eternal Feather is useless. Put that to the back of the line. Skill Potion, okay. I don't know that any of these are all that useful. I do think with the cards we have, we could kind of make this work, but we don't need it. So, why take it? Alright, so this will be a fight where we're going to be happy to have the discards available to us. And because we are at full health, we probably just end up tanking the beat damage. Although we do have the block potion, we have a skill potion, but I think if we save those for when we actually need to defend ourselves against him, probably better. Although we do play a lot of cards per turn. Uh, so right now we have four energy. That's one, two, three. Uh, we could acrobatics for the purpose of setting up powers over the blade dance. That's probably better. Yeah. Uh, we can get rid of a vanilla defend, I suppose. Dark Shackles is premature. So we're looking at lots of debuffs, lots of setup here. So we will not have the energy for blocking any of this. We're just going to tank the beat damage. get as much debuffing going on as possible. I think that was a better use of our energy than... Uh, whatever the alternative was. Okay. So, and Venom... makes this add poison. I guess we defend Blur, but that's going to make us draw a card. Alternatively, we backflip Blur, and then we... In fact, if we Blur first, then backflip might draw the Void, which would actually be to our advantage. We did. Cool. Neutralize the Void. Alright, this is going to be a... F oh, it's not our first time taking damage. That's right, because we've been tanking the beat. That's okay. Alright, what other setups do we have? Noxious, Fumes, and Footwork. Uh, noxious Fumes and Footwork. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Because Pen Nib, they are our heaviest hitters. Uh, if we do this next, and then shiv shiv, that gives us some tanky here. And now I'm going to acrobatics. Uh, get rid of that. Footwork. Which makes us potentially block for even more. 
Nice. Um, we could piercing wheel here, but we don't need to. So, uh, unfortunately, this is going to draw us a card. And thankfully, it was garbage. Cool. So this is going pretty well, I would say. Alright, so now he's about to apply some artifact to himself. Uh, we can go ahead and play this first, just to tank what we're doing here now. Okay, and we don't play Survivor, because otherwise that would not evaporate. Alright, and his weakness just fell off, so this is actually something of an emergency here. We don't have what it takes to strip him of it. Uh, so, first things first, we do have a lot of energy, though. So that's good. I'm going to get this down. Gonna play that to strip. I'm gonna play this, including the shiv, because it's very important. Oh wait, what happened here? In Venom. Oh, okay. Whoops. So this yeah, okay. Wow, that was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. Alright. Yeah, that was dumb. I forgot about in Venom. And now he's not weak either, but thankfully there's only one weak in the discard pile, so maybe we can rectify that here. Indeed, we can. Um, do we have Cloak and Dagger? We do. Is that better, or would we rather backflip? Cloak and Dagger. Okay, that gives us full use of our energy here. Whoops, I played that wrong. Did not get maximum pen, pen nib value. Oh, whoops, and once I realized that, we could have done that differently, too. Okay, I'll just get that out of there. Alright, so we're taking five damage now. Quite frankly, after we... The initial round of debuffs to us, and then the original re-artifacting... Um, I think we're in good shape overall. Uh, we can play Blur first just to help us with everything we're about to do. Uh, get rid of that. Oh, Wound, same thing. Uh, two energy. Blur is in effect, so stacking block is okay. You can try that here. Heal hook is free. And we basically go nuts with some poison the deck's original identity take 69 there sir <laughs> okay so his counter starts at the start of his turn good to know alright so we do not have a lot of block here so we're gonna have to do all this stuff first I'll tell you what we are gonna be tripping the ink bottle so I will hold off on playing the strike Alright, we are out of block now. And that completed. So we can do this. To say one, two, three kunai, making this one more strong. Full block! And we don't have to do a damn thing any moving forward. This case is closed. That will do it for this run. Thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I look forward to any comments you have. Oh yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen this screen. I've only beaten, I've beat the uh, the heart once with Silent, 
And then all my kills have been with Watcher since, so it's been a long time since I've seen this. Thank you for joining me with it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave any comments you have for me down below, and I'll see you in the next run. Take care.